Hey everyone, Dr. Robin with Sports Chiropractic. Just got done with my workout, about to stretch, and I wanted to show you today the couch stretch and what I call the killer couch stretch. All right, so first we're gonna show you the couch stretch. A lot of people know this already. It's really good for the quad muscles and the hip flexor, something that gets very tight on people from sitting a lot. So what you wanna do is find the couch. In this, in this case, we have a table, something to put your knee on. And you're gonna get in a, a lunge position, but you're actually gonna get your foot up. Don't break the table. But you're gonna get your foot up on a table or couch like this, and now you're in the couch stretch position. You can get your arm over your head and lean back and away from the side you're stretching and really get a massive stretch on your quad and your hip flexor. You wanna hold this for about 30 seconds, kinda of relax out of it, and repeat that four to six times. This next one is a great one. It's what I call the killer couch stretch. It's a couch stretch plus something that's just super awesome. Now this is really good for people that have one hip maybe higher than the other. It could be because not just your hip flexor is tight, but you might actually have a tight hip capsule. The ligaments that surround the hip joint could be tight. So, or, or if you're a CrossFitter and you see someone in the gym who's squatting and one hip is really higher than the other when they're squatting, it could be because they're really tight in that hip or someone who's getting lower back pain through this area could be because that hip is higher jamming that. So if you have lower back tightness, it's good on that side, or if you have those problems you mentioned earlier. So you're gonna wanna get a pad like you did before, and you're gonna wanna get a strong resistance band. This you can find on Rogue's website is where we got this one. And you're gonna wanna put your leg through the band and get it right underneath that gluteal fold, otherwise known as the bottom of the butt. And you're gonna step back a little bit and you're gonna get into that same lunge position where now I'm getting that similar idea as a couch stretch. I'm gonna grab my heel to my butt. So I'm actually really simulating the same thing as a couch stretch, but now I got this massive 100 pounds of pull forward that's also stretching out that hip capsule. So if you're doing the couch stretch and it feels good, but it might not be enough and you think the problem's coming from the front of the hip, add the banded uh, killer couch stretch to what you're doing and see if that really helps. So for this one, you're gonna wanna hold it for a consistent two to three minutes. Anytime you're stretching ligaments, you wanna stretch it for about two to three minutes to really get that ligament creep to settle in. Dr. Rodman, hope this helps out. Have a great day.